in there. It's not weird if you share a glizzy with your friend. What's going on, guys? This is Brandon J. Oh, <laughs> hello. I just made... <laughs> wow, that was different. Yeah, right. <laughs> So today what we're doing is we have uh, trekked out into the wilderness. He has the wilderness jig and putt. Mr. Reef himself is yes. out here with us today. Uh, what we're doing is a simple like catch, clean, cook video. Uh, he tried to convince me we were staying out here for 24 hours after we already got out here, bro. I don't have that kind of supply. <laughs> hey, man, you brought a whole hammock, bro. I got, I got snacks for me. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a hungry guy. What we're doing is we're coming out here, catching up some bluegill. I'm gonna uh, grill those up. Unfortunately, I cannot eat freshwater fish. So I may or may not have brought some snacks from myself. All I have with me today is what is in my pockets, which is just my phone and a uh, pocket knife and what is in my backpack. So this is the contents of the bag that I have. I have a small little mug. Brandon wanted to make coffee, so I brought that with me. This is just a little survival kit. I'm actually missing a bunch of pieces. I think there's a, a fire starter, maybe some paracord and a multi-tool in there. And then this is my massive slumberjack hammock. I actually haven't had the opportunity to use it yet. This is gonna be his first time in the wilderness. We're going to really check this out and see how well it works. But I think what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna start getting camp set up, maybe pop up the hammock, figure out firewood. A lot of things out here are wet and we're just gonna get rocking and rolling trying to catch some food because I, I'm not um, completely convinced that Brandon's gonna be able to do it. So. He's probably gonna try to get in my bag and get some of my snacks, but I'm not gonna let him. trying to put his uh some kind of what is that a spacex blanket is that what that was called yeah nasa sent this to me oh i thought it was tesla uh yeah same thing so, so brandon's gonna go looking for a fishing rod uh i got mr reef here i'm on dog duty and i'm gonna start digging the fire pit and while i'm doing that look for some worms for some bait for the fishing rod he's about to get so i'm just gonna knock this out and start digging a hole Looks like a little reefy boy decided to help us out with this fire pit digging. I did end up finding Brandon some worms, so we do have bait to catch these bluegill on. So I've got my hammock set up. We have reef doing reef things, and we have the fire pit. So Brandon has uh, managed to figure out a way to make a spear and two fishing rods. This spear, I gotta give it to you, B. Hey. I'm pretty impressed. She's sweet, man. She's so it's sweet. probably what six and a half almost seven feet if it's yep. taller than i am it's sturdy but check out the freaking tip on this dang thing right here Ooh. he's actually got a little spear like arrowhead tip that came on this what did you call this thing brandon it's uh i call it a punch card I'm the punch sure card it it's got all these little items it fits in your wallet but it's got like a knife fishing hooks a saw a little spear hook or a spearhead all kinds of these little tools so he's made up a pretty pretty sick little setup for us to be able to get this job done you like it? i like it a lot your uh, little little camp shelter is a little short for your, hey, your tall friends works just fine for me uh in the meantime he's actually putting those hooks that i showed you guys on those rods i'm gonna throw you guys on a head mount and head off into the wilderness and see if i can find us some dry wood and start gathering it up and bring you back to camp and then I don't know uh, where you guys are or what you guys have for wilderness out there, but these things, these cypress knobs right here, they these are cypress trees growing up. And these little guys, when they're nice and short, and they're in the swampy areas like this, if you trip and fall on one of these, it could be the end of you. So always got to be careful. If you see them, they're, they're everywhere out here. Oh, this is... Brandon, bring that old shetty over. Oh, oh I got it. You got it, baby. Yeah, it's a good one. You can chop that off right there at the base somewhere. It's really freaking me out chopping towards me. Don't worry, I'm a professional. Flip it. Yeah, here we go. 
These are good. Ones. Yeah, this is a good one right here. Breathe. Sit down. Sit. Stay. All right, so I'm going to take a start with these smaller sticks here. Start breaking these guys down. If I can get some of these smaller ones to start this fire up with. Start tossing them in the hole. Brandon is the fireman. He is the man who creates fire. So I'm going to let him do that, but I'm going to provide him with all the kindling necessary. <laughs> there you go. I miss the fireman. I'm just gonna start breaking these down because he's the one with the fire starter today. Fire time. Remember all the extra paracord? Toss that baby in there. That's a nice uh, flint, if you will. It's good, it's dry. And then old magnesium and the striker. There it is. Got a little yeah. bit of magnesium's popping. Yeah, yeah, you saw that. Some of those extra ones. Brief, we did it. Come on over here, check it out. Don't touch that for the rest of the day, okay? It's hot. It's hot. Daddy, daddy made fire. We officially have fire. Now it's up to Brandon to feed us. Yeah, well, yeah, that ain't going great. Yeah, how's that going, guy? Yeah, well, I mean, we're still waiting, man. We, we got to dangle out there in the water and we're going to figure it out. So now? We hurry up and wait. We keep the fire going, keep it nice and stoked and roaring. Maybe we'll get us some blue gill. Brandon is trying to catch some bluegill. Their line's out. He's doing a phenomenal job. Keep your spirits high. Good job, buddy. But in the meantime, uh, that's just cheese. I got some beef jerky. You want some beef jerky, bro? That's just cheese. I don't want your beef jerky. You sure you don't? Travis, you want some beef jerky? I know you do. Brandon, you know what? You, you need to give in to temptation. I got beef jerky in my hand. I know you're hungry. Oh, I'm excited for this. You know what? You know what? I'll let you have the first one, man. Pick your piece. Pick your piece. Brandon, you sure? What's up? This is mighty tasty. I'll take one little You just would give it a little smell? Give it I'll a little take, smell? I'll take one, one little giant nibble here. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like this isn't even a real beef jerky. No. It's like raccoon or something. Yeah. This is camel ass. Fried camel ass. Made to look like beef jerky. It's a good ass camel ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fish catching is going, uh, Less than terrible. They, trying to think terrible. of a better word than terrible. Oh, Less than straight, fantastic. Straight trash. Gone. Straight cheeks. Yeah, it's bad. So uh, your boy may or may not have packed some extra little uh, emergency snacks. We got some classic jumbo franks, baby. Even better than that. Get down in this bag of wonders that I have with me. We got some regular old beef smoked sausage. So we have not only one giant glizzy, hey. but we got a ton of jumbo glizzies. Whatever floats your glizzy boat. You know yeah, what I'm I know. But we actually get to eat. We got some good coffee. That's got right. us a nice little fire going. That's right. We're going to get at it. That's right. Okay, so Brandon is over there managing the fire, getting that going. I am on glizzy duty. So, looks like this is a peel open package, so I'm not going to open this yet. And these are just hot dogs, so we'll just cut that down the side there. But I have one sausage on the grill. I got a pack of hot dogs, and uh, Ooh. we're going to actually eat today, my Ooh, dude. Oh, yeah. listen to that. Yeah, she's going. Brandon has successfully got us a decent fire going here, so I'm just going to handle the cooking portion of it. You can't go wrong with just a couple hot diggity dogs on the grill. Get off there, here we go. 
sizzle action going on, baby. Let's put one right here for good measure. Yeah. Well, we're gonna let those cook for a few minutes and then uh, we're actually gonna get to enjoy a meal out here. Thanks to somebody. Definitely way too much fire. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna bet uh, can't really this control is all that. gonna be done in like the next 15 seconds. I hope you like your uh, dog uh, Flash extra ride. crispy. Now, question is who's grabbing them? I got a fork, bro. Uh, right there and right there, brother. We may have been a little too uh, ambitious to get them sausages and whatnot on the grill because now that they are done and uh, quickly well done, it's the perfect freaking fire to cook them over. But they are cooked. We will eat. It's better than nothing. We did pull sausages off the grill. This little multi-tool with a fork on is probably the best thing I've ever spent money on. Brandon, what's your thoughts? Dude, honestly, this is uh, probably a 10 out of 10 for sausage. Like, <laughs> forget the survival and the, everything like that. I think there's something to be said about like an open flame. Like an open flame, cooking over an open flame is just so much better. Also, let's just take a second to inspect the way that this man is eating. He made- Chopsticks. Chopsticks. Yeah, woodland chopsticks right here. Yeah. But just decided to impale his- It's way easier, you know, way easier. <laughs> Reef is interested, I'll tell you that. Yeah, well, I've got him in this little Scooby snack, so, uh. yeah. So, whenever we did cook the uh, the hot dogs and sausages, we did get a little ahead of ourselves. Didn't think of the exit strategy for those hot dogs from the grill. Yeah. Thank God I had my little fork, but this man right here, yeah. absolute freaking power move. Big brain. Florida dinner plates, baby. Yeah, pretty smart, right? Yeah, that would have been really nice to know about five minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> we, we got ahead of ourselves. The hunger got the best of us, yeah. guys. But now Brandon's got some sort of I got dessert, man. S'mores cookie yeah. something. I don't yeah. know how this works. Self-heating, everything's cooking in this bag. Oh, it's like a like a MRE? Uh yeah, but it's more of like a deluxe, delicious hot s'mores cookie version. <laughs> hey man, don't step on the weenies. I'm still hungry. Alright, boys and girls, and that's pretty much it for today. We came out here with the goal of doing a basic survival video. It is basic. And we did survive, but the fish catching aspect of it, Brandon. Uh, hey man, hey, don't blame it on me. All right, look, there's a lot that went into it, and it just didn't work out. I came prepared. He came, came prepared. I brought dessert, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm you did the bring cherry dessert. on top of this whole ordeal here. But we did start a fire. We did create shelter. We created fishing poles. We created spears. We collected firewood. Got all of the necessary things to where, if we really were stuck here, I think we would be okay with what we have. Look, we're at like a six out of ten survival scale rating right now. We're not living lavish, but we are living. But the know? thing is, we're at a six out of ten, but we have like two out of ten experience. I don't have a bunch of experience <laughs> doing this. You might, but guys. Came out here, we had fun. Unfortunately, I have to go to work, so we gotta get out of here. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.